Haley Van Lith and Jewel Spear. These two are the same class. I think they're going to be playing uh, some really good basketball in the ACC for years to come, Sam. Sophomore superstars, no doubt about it. We are underway. Keon yeah, Smith gets us started with the scoring there. Here's the starting five for Wake Forest. We talked about Jewel Spear leading the conference in scoring. Up and under for Kaya Harrison, player that missed their last game against Clemson. They are glad to have her back. A veteran player that can handle the ball and really limit the turnovers. As Emily Anderson knocks down the three, so good at that. But she is shooting 49% from three. And Sam, if I was shooting 49% from three, you know what I would do. I would shoot more. I would love to see more three-point shots from Anxler. Olivia Sumiel answers on the other end. Elise Williams lost the handle three on two for Louisville. Haley Van Lith slows it up just a bit. Kicks it back to Chelsea Hall for the long two. And she connects. They haven't always been a pressing team, but with this roster, he likes how they press and how they can get after those guards defensively. Here's Jewel Spear, nylon, with some veterans sprinkled throughout this lineup. There's Christina Mora, one of the veterans off the mark there. Yana Smith, transition three, yes. Sam, that is so rare. She is one of the best defensive players in the country. Agreed with you there, and she can play all five spots as that shot falls for Olivia Sumiel. Who have been backing each other up at times, but against this defense, they need more ball handlers, and so I like that move. And Wake Forest has taken the lead here in the first quarter. They feast on live ball turnovers. Casa Robinson also into the game. Engsler with a shot fake, puts it on the floor into the hole. Good look to find Smith couldn't handle it. Engsler, not a great pass looking to Liz Dixon. Numbers for Wake Forest. The kick to Spear. She takes it to the rim and puts it in. Jewel Spear with five. Louisville is so deadly in transition. You really have no choice. You want to try to make them play in the half court. Spear, top of the key. How about I told Jewel you, Spear. Sam. Van Lith, long two. Counted. She is so good, Kelly. I love dribbling left, pulling up right, but being able to be good on both sides and have that dribble pull up, that's so good for Van Lith. It, it really adds to her game. Scruggs off the mark there. Mora with the offensive board. For Louisville at times, giving up offensive rebounds. That's something to watch. Peyton Grohls for three, the standout freshman from DeSoto, Kansas. You are going to get open looks, and Wake is cashing in on those so far. Sumiel for three. It? For a moment, though, ball on the floor. Mikasa Robinson regains possession. Numbers for Louisville, and Liz Dixon cleans it up at the bucket. Mikasa Robinson, so great defensively. Nice pass underneath to Dixon in the reverse layup. Liz Dixon off Beautiful to a really pass. good start, Kelly. Who else? Dana Evans, the two-time ACC Player of the Year. She made a shot with eight seconds to go to effectively win the game. And Wake Forest is still looking for that first ever win. All time. And a turnover there. Can it be costly? Louisville trying to capitalize. Van Lip. Nice fake. This is just what they do to opponents. Exactly right, Sam. You have that trap at the top with Alana Smith and Liz Dixon. Verholst is already denying the one pass away. So vital to the success of this team. Another good look from Mikasa Robinson, the fine angler. That's twice now. Liz Dixon brings down the rebound. That's her fourth. In transition, Haley Van Lip for three. And it certainly has started to. Over the last seven games, Van Lith 11 for 24 from three-point range. And an 11-0 run. And the offense has been a struggle at times. They're averaging 70 points a game. That's good for ninth in the conference. But if Haley Van Lith continues to do that, we're going to score a ton of points. Van Lith now two for two from long range. When you have plays like that, it, the officials did a good job of getting that right because there was no intention there. It was just a basketball play, a scrum. Alana Smith rattles home with three. Casa Robinson taking it out underneath, finds Haley Van Lith. Oh, what a design play there. 
saying this is just knowing your teammate, knowing what your teammate needs. And Sam, one thing to watch in this second half, and this is something Louisville struggled with at times, because Olivia Cochran and that one loss was Arizona in the first game of the year. So their resume, even with the NC State loss, still looks very strong. Chelsea Hall in the paint there extends Louisville's lead. The pre-COVID format where if you're a one through four seed, you get to host the first and second rounds of the NCAA tournament. Louisville and NC State, it's pretty much sure they're going to host as Inksler knocks on another three. And Notre Dame is a team that I think has a chance to do that. But that's another dimension that's back in the tournament this year. And a huge factor as you kind of see the KFC Young Center erupt even more. Long two off the mark. Louisville not giving up though. Quickly in transition, Liz Dixon adds to her total. No idea, so it's still very early. Jewel Spear turns it over in transition. There's Mikasa Robinson, gets the ball right back. So good on live ball turnovers, Kelly. Uh, you know, when you have Ivana Ratza, who was just so crucial to this team, and, uh, it, it's not easy to replace what they lost. Probably not going to jump South Carolina in the poll because they lost to South Carolina. So South Carolina, I believe, should stay number one. But... If they beat Virginia Tech, they should probably move up to number two. The Virginia Tech team was a bubble team last year. They were waiting on Selection Sunday to see if their name would be called. There's Jules Spear. Nice move in the layup. The technical foul. A couple free throws in the ball for the Demon Deacons. Here's Sumio. Scoops it up and in. Inbound to Mikasa Robinson. Van Lith. Top of the key, right out of the gate, off the bench. Over a Wake Forest team that has lost four straight, threatening to be five now. Kaya Harrison baseline, nice reversal. Total of nine steals on the game for Louisville so far. There's a corner three knocked down by Jules Spear. And uh, I think overall, a fairly good response. Of course, there's never a, a, a great finish to that game. 15 seconds left to go in the game. Jules Spear looking to get into the 20s, and she does. Jules Spear is going to find a way to score the basketball. That's just what she does. So Louisville will run the clock out 